young man just coming out of the dash ranks. Really impressive coming out of the dash ranks. And like you say, he ran it. Oh! oh! Right front tire just goes down immediately on Mike Swain's car. And in that outside wall, he goes. Wow, he hit a ton. And the car comes all the way across the racetrack. Some... Boy, he was moving down toward his second win in a row. And he hit a ton up there. That's exactly the same accident with, that we saw Steve Park wreck. The way we saw him wreck early last year, uh, he missed so much of the season. Um, he, Skinner wrecked the same way, but he just cuts the right front tires. Just like we were talking about right front tires. It looked like the right front tire just let go all of a sudden, and he's across there. Exactly. A year ago last spring, on a Friday morning, accident by Steve Park almost in the same spot. I'll show you again what happened to Mike Swain Jr.'s car. He just drew through the corner. And all of a sudden, I saw the car wiggle just one time. About right here, the car's going to wiggle just a little bit, and it just, he has to lose the right front tire, Kyle. You can see it. Watch it. If you go back and run that again, watch the left front gain camber. And what I mean by that is watch the left front tuck up into the fender well, way up in the left front. And when the left front starts to gain camber, you know the right front is down on the ground. And you can see chunks of rubber fly off the right side of the car, behind the car as he hit it up across the wall, so toward the wall. So there is the David Keith car slowing down behind him, but just the right side of that car completely pancaked. David Keith was right behind Mike Swain Jr. Let's see the sight that he sees. So this is down the back stretch. The nice and slower car, giant turn three. to get his breath because family back there very concerned fortunately mike awake and and able to help them get him out of the car they have not uh, you can see his face and what happens when you hit that wall folks all the air leaves your body you hit and just and it takes you what five minutes God, it seems like to get air in your lungs uh, it seems like it takes you forever to get the air back in your lungs they'll put the neck brace on him here i'm really surprised that they almost didn't cut him out of the car because it was and it's such a horrific blow to take a blow like that to your entire body your body has to take time for it to recover you just need to sit there for a few yeah. minutes and see what's going on as we saw last spring with uh with the, with the accident of Derek Cope, the ribs really take a beating. You're in that seat. There's a seat brace that holds the right side ribs. And when you take that kind of angle abruptly up across the racetrack, that's what one of the first things that you worry about is the ribs. You worry about the scapula, the shoulder blade, as Steve Park had. Uh, you know, fortunately, they have the, the collar on, on Mike Swain. But uh, considering how hard he hit, I mean, it's awful good to see him be able to sit up on the car and at least communicate with the safety officials there at the scene. Yeah, and you see him. They take the helmet with him. And the reason they take the helmet is when they get back to the medical center, they'll look at the helmet to make sure that nothing, that it hadn't taken a blow, and they can evaluate some of that. Now watch the sheet metal and also watch the chunks of rubber from the right rear of the car. Watch the sheet metal as the tire just comes apart. The left front tire will roll in from the top. Watch the game camera there. It rolls in. Yeah. You can see it. He's already, he's on the brakes and the cars aren't stopped because you instantly see it heat up, but it blows the right front fender off of it. It blows a chunk of tire off of it. And it's just a, a terrible angle right there. Okay, as they've taken Mike Swain Jr. Let's go down to Bill Weber. 